Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Is your engine overheating after changing a part for your cooling system? That's because maybe air is trapped in your cooling system. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you have air trapped in your cooling system? The first sign that you know that air is trapped in your cooling system is because after you replace a component, you should bleed the system for air. If you do not bleed the system for air, then most likely air is trapped in your cooling system. When air is trapped in your cooling system, it will cause coolant to improperly flow inside your cooling system. Therefore, it will disrupt the uh, cooling system operation and therefore leading to overheating. The next sign that you know that you have air trapped in the cooling system is temperature fluctuation. If you notice the needle on your temperature gauge is constantly fluctuating, it's going high and low, high and low. That could be caused by pockets of air trapped in your cooling system, or it can also be caused by a partially stuck open or stuck closed thermostat. The next thing that you know that you have air in your cooling system is your heater is not blowing hot air. If your HVAC system is not blowing out hot air, that's because maybe air is trapped inside the heater core. There are many reasons why air is trapped in your cooling system. And number one is you probably have a leak somewhere in your cooling system. Number two is you probably have a faulty radiator cap. Number three is you probably have a blown head gasket. And number four, you probably have a bad water pump seal. And number five, when you change a cooling system parts such as a thermostat, housing, water pump, radiator, and so on, I always bleed the cooling system for air. How do you remove air in your cooling system? With the engine off and cool, go ahead and remove the radiator cap. Again, make sure the engine is cooled. Allow the engine to run for about 5 to 20 minutes. That should be enough for air to escape from the cooling system and your engine should be running fine afterward. Another way to bleed the system for air is locate the bleeder valve somewhere on the cooling system. Normally, it's around the thermostat area. If you have a hard time removing air from the cooling system, I recommend using a spill-free funnel. And basically, this is going to come with various attachments. You're going to place this on top of the uh, radiator, on the uh, radiator neck. And you, next thing you want to do is you want to raise the front end of the vehicle and place it on a jack stand. The purpose of doing that is you want air to rise to the highest point. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.